Nala, my female bangle is pregnant, but her nipples are absolutely ginormous. Tell me, do you feel babies in your tummy? What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. So guys, I have some very, very exciting news. So if all of you have been following the channel, you'll know I have a crazy cat collection. I have three Bengal cats, I have two ragdolls, and I have one Maine Coon. Now when I was cleaning the room the other day, I noticed something very strange going on with Nala, my female Bengal. Now you guys all know that my female Bengals are very, very tall and they're very skinny. And they've actually been like that since day one, since I picked them up from the breeder. But I noticed with Nala that her tummy is a little bit enlarged, it's hard, and her nipples are getting bigger. And that only means one thing, that Nala, my female bangle, is pregnant. Now obviously I don't know 100%, but I've dealt with a lot of animal pregnancies, not only in cats, but also in dogs. So we might be expecting a litter of kittens. Now of course we're going to be scheduling a vet appointment to make sure 100% that she is pregnant, that I am right, and we need to get her the proper care, of course, for these kittens. When these kittens are born, we need to get them all of their shots, make sure that these kittens are happy and healthy but guys I don't know how far along Nala is now since she is so tiny I'm assuming she's only gonna have about one to three kittens and she could already be pretty far along now guys if you don't know this cats are only pregnant for about two months so she could have been pregnant already for a month we have no idea but now we must prepare for these kittens we need to prepare for Nala to give birth so guys in today's video we're not only gonna be checking Nala out so you guys can see for yourself but we're gonna be heading inside we're gonna be checking on little baby Alfie because you guys haven't seen him in quite some time and giving him a bottle so let's go so we're walking in where we keep little baby Alfie and we keep him in the living room right now he's literally watching cartoons but we have him in his new enclosure hello I already see the little man right here now before we had little Alfie in a playpen and then he would go into a sleeping pot at night but because he's a lot more active he can get out of the playpen. We've converted him to this little enclosure right here. And he absolutely loves it. Oh, isn't that right? Let's see this little guy right here. Now we have a little Lixit right here. So he's able to drink water and have access to water all day long. Even though he's on Baba. But now, even though he's on Baba, he's grown so much that he is starting to drink water. And he's also starting to eat biscuits. And he's starting to eat some vegetables. Isn't that right? Some fruits and veggies. It's so good for him, baby Tommy. Look at him. You are a crazy monkey man. So little baby Alfie is definitely very curious at a camera. He definitely has to check it out. Oh, yeah, you give it a nice little lick. Did, did that taste good? Are you full now for licking the camera? That was so nice. You want to, oh, you want to lick it again? Okay. So Alfie right here is literally making out with the camera. You can see, I think it's a little bit foggy, guys. So you can see we definitely have a curious little baby monkey right here. He is constantly wanting to check things out, wanting to inspect things, and wanting to put everything, literally everything, guys, in his mouth. He is like a toddler. These babies are exactly like real babies right here. But, but little monkeys, they can actually run and jump all over the place. So it makes it even worse because not only do we have a curious little baby that just wants to get around everywhere, but they can run and they can jump everywhere. So that that's a lot to deal with. But we love our little monkeys very, very much. But you can see he's a little squirmy. I think he's hungry. Are you hungry? Are you ready for the baba? Are you ready for the baba? Yeah, are you ready for the baba? <laughs> And we have everything to set up his bottle. Now you guys know the routine, of course. We got the bottle, we got the bottle warmer. Now we're actually gonna be adding this water into here so it can heat up the bottle. And little man already sees the bottle. He's very, very excited, so he knows it's feeding time. And we also got the jar of formula right here. Now we have been making giant jars of formula because we have a growing monkey boy and he eats a lot, isn't that right? He would literally finish this in one bite if he could. I mean, he is growing so strong every day. He needs all the babas he can get. Now, we've actually been adding some monkey biscuits in here. We add four monkey biscuits, and we've been adding a fruit and veggie baby food in this as well to make it a yummy, yummy bottle for little Alfie man right here. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna get straight into making the bottle. So I'm gonna set you guys up right here. So we guys got you set up right here. We, of course, got our bottle that we're gonna be pouring our formula in. Now, when we first got little baby Alfie, he was drinking less than an ounce. So here's the ounce right here. He was drinking drinking less than an ounce. Now he's drinking about two ounces all the way up to here. So he is a very, very growing monkey man right here. And you want you want to hold on to that? Okay, you hold on to that and mommy will take the formula. Oh, we're gonna take the formula right here, give it a good shake like this to make sure everything is evenly distributed, evenly mixed up. 
Alright guys, give it a little tap, make sure everything's down. And here we go. Mmm, some monkey formula. I'm definitely smelling those fruits and veggies in there. You wanna give it a smell? Mmm, so yummy. So we're just gonna take our bottle right here and start pouring. Alright guys, and whoa! There we have it. We've got our formula in our bottle right here. It is looking nice and good. We're gonna screw the cap on top just like so. And Alfie, are you ready to eat it? It's cold right now, so you can't have it just yet. So now we're gonna heat it up. So all we're gonna do is take our little water cup right here, give it a nice pour, and let's see, let's see. We're gonna do the whole thing. Perfect, I'm thinking that is going to be perfect. Put our bottle on in, and three, two, one. It's going to go off in two seconds. And there we have it. Our timer is going down. Our bottle is going to start warming up. And Alfie literally is going crazy on my neck. He is losing his mind and he is so anxious to eat this bottle. Isn't that right? You're so excited. So excited. Our bottle is done, guys. It's nice and warm. Now, of course, we must do the finger test. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck is the finger test? Now, the finger test is to make sure that this bottle is not too hot or not too cold. If it's too cold, it's going to be a little bit harder for little Alfie man to digest. And, of course, nobody wants a cold bottle if it's too hot however it's going to burn little Alfie's esophagus so of course we don't want that so we're gonna open it on up yeah you're excited give it a little swish around it is perfect guys literally the perfect temperature it's quite warm not too hot not too cold oh thank you you got me this so I can wipe my hand off so we wiped our hand off now we're gonna head to the couch and give Alfie his little bottle are you excited are you so excited? Let's go. We're almost to the couch, Alfie. He's like, what the heck are we doing? We're going to pop the cap off because our baby is very, very hungry. All right. Here you go. Yes. Yes, you eat the papa. Oh, my goodness. We had a hungry little monkey boy. And trust me, guys, he is going to literally devour this entire bottle. And little Alfie is done with his bottle, so I'm actually very surprised that he did not finish the entire thing. Now, usually if he doesn't finish the entire thing, it's because he drank a lot in the feeding before. So we're going to see if he wants it one more time. You want to baba? And literally, he's going to tell me no. He'll shake his head. He'll literally push my hand or the bottle away, and he just wants to play. Oh, you want more? Oh, and you tricked mommy. Why would you do that? Oh, you can't kiss the camera anymore. That's not, that's not for the monkey. Now that Alfie got to eat his baba, it is time to make him some breakfast. Now, he's already eyeing the biscuits. He's already eyeing the fruits and the veggies. So right here, of course, we got four little biscuits. We got his cups. We're just gonna take the biscuits, put it on in, and do you want one? Look, Alfie, you want a biscuit? Oh my goodness, so Alfie's gonna hold on to that, Alfie's gonna eat that, and we're gonna get his morning bowl ready. So here we have all of the fruits and veggies already pre-chopped. This is actually what I give my sugar gliders. We like to have it pre-chopped, so all we have to do is put it in their bowl when it's time to feed them. So we're gonna make his bowl right here, so I'm pretty sure, yes, this is the apples. So we're gonna go ahead, pop the top open. So we have a couple apples. So we're just gonna go ahead and give them a couple. I think that's about good. We have some zucchini right here. Let's cut the top open. And give him about the same amount of the zucchini. Now the reason we don't give him too much is because since Alfie is still learning to eat, he's still unsure about foods, we don't like to give him too much because he doesn't really eat them. He kind of puts it in his mouth, gnaws in it, and sometimes he will eat it and sometimes he doesn't. So we don't want to waste any food that he is not going to eat because we of course don't want this little man to get too much food. But you can see he's very eager for the food. So let's go ahead, put him back in his enclosure and see if he wants some breakfast. So we're putting Alfie's food on in, and he is so eager. He's literally running into his enclosure. You have your food in there, buddy. Mommy, put your breakfast. Look, <gasps> right there, right there. Oh my goodness, does Monkey Man see it yet? Go get it. Here, you need help down? Come here, buddy. You want some fruits and veggies? Here, look, so we're gonna grab a little piece of zucchini, which is his absolutely favorite. Whoa, whoa, what you doing, man? Here, <gasps> mommy brought it for you. Mommy got some, some veggies for you. There you go. Oh, and he literally just put the entire thing in his mouth. Let's see what he does with it. Are you gonna eat it? Oh, and he's eating it. He absolutely loves it. He is munching and he is crunching. And you can see this little monkey man is quite, quite happy. Crawling on his enclosure, eating his fruits and veggies for the morning. And he just had a baba, so his tummy is nice and full. Is that some good? Is that some good stuff? Oh, you spit it out. So what we're gonna do right now is we gotta go check on the kitties to see if the little kitty's pregnant. So you gotta stay in your enclosure, buddy. Hey, hey, get in there.
So we're gonna be heading through the store in a second, and this is where the cats are. They're behind this door right here. I'm sure they're all waiting at the door, but I leave their room open so they can run down the hallway. Now, I know a lot of you were asking, Hannah, why the heck were you keeping them in that room? Now, I'm gonna show you guys. I don't think I've shown you guys yet, but I'm gonna show you guys my parents' house. Now, it is absolutely crazy because I'm about to move. I have big plans for my new house, for my cats, and for my animals. But let me show you guys the house and what it looks like because all of my stuff is literally taking over the house. So this is the front door. When you open the front door, you have boxes upon boxes. And I mean, this is literally a storage unit at this point. There is stuff everywhere. There's a lot of stuff that they can break over here and just get lost in. And we don't want that to happen because if our kitties get lost, there's a lot of people coming in and out of my house so they could bolt out. Now my cats have bolted out before. If you guys have noticed in their room, there is a door in the room that leads outside. They actually do try and escape out of that door. So I have to constantly be on the lookout and make sure my cats are not trying to sneak out because they're very, very curious, especially the bangles. And here we have some more boxes so you guys can understand that the house is literally crazy right now. So we wanna make sure our cats are safe and healthy at all times, so that's why I do keep them on this side of the house. And if they do get out, well, there are foxes in this area that could honestly grab my cats and take them for their lunch. So of course, we obviously don't want that, but now it's time to head back there. We're gonna head in here and see my little kitties. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's see who's at the door. Oh my goodness, everyone is greeting us. So we have little Mochi Man, oh my goodness! The whole crew is here. So we have little Mochi Man, my rag doll, and he is just a little curious little man right here. We have Nyx, hello. You are one beautiful little man. And here we have Nala. So Nala is the one in question if she is pregnant or not. I don't know if you guys can see it. You probably can't, but her tummy is looking a little fat. If you look in the sides right here, it's a little protruding. And of course we have her sister right here. So we have Nala, we have Nova, we have Pookie Woman which is my main coon. And we have my other rag doll, Mocha, hello. You're getting so sweet. Oh, mommy just wanted to pet you. So come on guys, let's go to your room. Let's go, let's follow mommy. Yes, yes, yes. Look at your little sassy butts walking. So they love to just wreak havoc. You can see they have this entire room to themselves. We're constantly adding new towers, new toys, and new things that can keep our cats entertained and they have enough enrichment. So we just got these toys right here. They absolutely love them. They're actually catnip infused. And another really cool toy I just got are these toys. So these toys right here, I don't know if you can hear it, but when they move around, they actually make little chirping noises. So there's three of them that came. There you go, guys. Go get it, go get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have one of those, and we have two more right here. So you can see, you can see, they make noises as well. Here you go, guys. Look at that. There you go. Oh my goodness. You can see our kitties are having an absolute blast. And you wanna steal the spotlight? Oh my goodness, look at those eyes. You are one gorgeous little man right here. So Mochi Man right here is actually neutered, so there's absolutely no way that he could get our Nala girl pregnant. Now it is time, guys, to check out Miss Nala girl. So she is right here. I don't know if you guys can see her stomach, but it is protruding and it is hard. So I'm gonna set the camera up and we're gonna pick her up so you guys can see her for yourselves. All right, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can see her stomach is going out a little bit now. It's not very noticeable, but because she is so, so tiny, I don't think she's gonna have that many kittens, so her stomach is not gonna be that big. Now, of course, depending on how many kittens or puppies an animal has, depends on how big their stomach is gonna be. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but her nipples are absolutely ginormous right here, and I already squeezed them earlier to see if there was any milk coming out, but there is unfortunately no milk. But the longer she's pregnant, those nipples are gonna fill up with some milk and then she's gonna start producing some milk. But guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. Her stomach is very, very hard. She definitely seems pregnant right here, but oh my goodness. We have possibly a pregnant kitty right here. Now what I'm looking at is her sides right here. When I feel her sides of her stomach, they do feel hard. Definitely feels like it's protruding. So I think Nala girl could 100% be pregnant right here because if we take a look, and Miss Nova, you wanna come here, Miss Nova girl, so we can look at you? Come here, little girl. Come here. You can see that Miss Nova is literally skinny, 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 and that's exactly how Nala was. She was skinny, skinny, skinny. Literally a twig, but 
she has a little fat tummy, guys. You can see it now. Her stomach is protruding out the side. And I think we have a pregnant little bangle kitty. Oh my goodness, how exciting. We are going to be having some bangle kittens. And it's thanks to this little beautiful boy right here. Yeah, you, you, you did that? You did that? Now you're probably all wondering if Mochi Man, my male ragdoll, possibly got Nala pregnant. Well, there's absolutely no way, and I'll tell you guys right now, that's because Mochi Man is neutered. So there's no way Mochi Man could have gotten Nala pregnant. And the only one that could have gotten her pregnant was little Nyx right here. And you can see he absolutely loves his girlfriends, but guys, that, that's a little bit inappropriate. So you can see he absolutely loves his bangle girlfriend. But let's see how he is with her. Do you think she's pregnant? Is your girlfriend pregnant? Tell me. Do you feel babies in her tummy? So of course, we want what's best for little Nala girl right here. So we gotta make sure that she is ready to have kittens. Isn't that right, Pokey Woman? We gotta make sure your sister is ready and the room is ready to have little baby bangles running around. Now, of course, once she gives birth, we are actually going to be moving her out of this room. Now, hopefully I'll be moved in by then because we are going to be having an animal room in my house that we're gonna be keeping all the baby animals in, whether it's little kitties, little puppies, or maybe little baby monkeys in the future. Now, of course, the reason we are separating them is because we don't want any of the other cats messing with them. We don't want the other cats bothering the little baby kittens or bothering Nala as she's nursing as a new mom. So we wanna make sure everything is perfect. These kittens are happy and healthy. And guys, I literally can't wait to see if Nala is really pregnant. Now, of course, like I said before, we are gonna be taking her to the vet to make sure 110% that we have a pregnant bangle kitty. But only to time will tell but guys that is going to end today's video if you all enjoyed today's video finding out that Nala my bangle cat is pregnant will give this video a big thumbs up and guys stop what you're doing and comment down below if you think this beautiful little kitty right here is pregnant and how many babies you think are growing inside this little tummy now guys if you want to find out for sure if Nala is pregnant or when she has kittens well what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel in the link down below